Newsday. Now we are crossing live to Port Aqua, to the River State Capitol, where the official launch of the Niger Delta Youth Internship Scheme is underway. Do stay tuned. Help us to build a nation. No man is oppressed. Nigeria be blessed. Please let's remain standing as I invite the mic, Reverend OJ Oworibo, to open up with a word of prayer. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for the day. So as we gather here for this program. Thank you for, for the leadership of the foundation. Initiate this program for the betterment of the people of God. It's a prayer of the Father. This vision shall be the prayer for the those who will engage shall be in your hands, and you'll see them through all to the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Please be seated. The Chairman, Governing Board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Mr. Chie Duebie, the Managing Director and CEO, Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Chief Samuel Oboku, PhD, the Executive Director, Finance and Administration, Honorable Boma EIA, the Executive Director of Projects, Target, Sabito, the Ezi River Anka. State Capital, the Executive Director of Corporate Services, and, and the DC. people from the nine states that make Honorable up the Niger Delta, Delta Development Day. Commission NDDC, members of the Governing Board of NDDC, including the leadership Directors of, of the NDDC Interventionist here. Agency for the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme. Special guest of honor. It is the official launch. And as this slogan goes, here. empowering the youth. I am Uvieti Mejia, saying welcome to this live broadcast on the Arise President News Channel. General, Igor Youth Council, Sir Jonathan Lopo, Virginia, the Amazon of Ijolan and Kyo Briggs, Members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great Nigerian youths, great Nigerian youths, Mr. Chairman, in the words of Napoleon Bonaparte, I quote, a leader is a dealer in hope. Today, the leadership of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC is at it again, intentionally instilling hope in the lives of the youths of this region. On 30th of July 2024, the executive management of NDDC held a sensitization conference for ethnic nationalities youths and women leaders. Today, we are witnessing one of the takeaways from that conference, which is the real reason we are gathered here, the official launch of the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme. Please, may we give a round of applause for the leadership of NDDC. This is truly in keeping with the renewed hope of Mr. President. 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want us to give a resounding round of applause to the board and management of NDDC for this initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I, at this point, introduce the dignitaries who are seated here for this noble event. We have in our midst the former secretary to the government of Delta State, a lawyer by training, a sound technocrat, a man who is always detailed in his work. The chairman governing board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Mr. Chiedwe Ebiye, please a round of applause for him. The face of Project Hope is here in our midst also. A man who is transiting the NDDC from transactions to transformation. A strategist like no other. A man who strongly believes in public-private partnership. And a man who is a humanist to the core. May we Recognize and amiss the M. Chief Samuel Obuku, PhD. Please a round of applause for him. Also in amiss is the Executive Director, of Finance and Administration, a two-time member, River State House of Assembly, a former commissioner in the state, the fifth actually the fifth of Ogulan. Please a round of applause for. Honorable Boma Iyaye, EDFA. In our midst also is the Executive Director of Projects, a two-time Commissioner in Aquaibom State, two-time Local Government Chairman in Aquaibom State, the Toknadu EDP, the Ifunanya EDP of NDDC, Sir Victor Etimantai. A round of applause for him, please. Also in our midst is the first Executive Director of Corporate Services, NDDC. He is the Obaile one of Obaile, Honorable Ife Dayo Abegunde. A round of applause for him, please. In no special order, let me recognize the board members who are seated here. We have the board member representing Abia State on the governing board of NDDC, Chief Honorable Dimba Eruba. You are welcome, sir. Dr. Chidebre Kirian Uchebu is the member representing River State, uh, re representing Imo State. Sorry, sir. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Apostle Andikan Abasi, Robert Nkono, member representing Akwaibo State. You're welcome, sir. Elder Senator Deimbufa Dimaru, member representing Bayasa State. You're welcome, sir. Honorable Atikashi Otito, member representing Ondo State. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. The member representing River State is also here in Amis, and the APC Kiatika Committee Chairman River State. Chief Honorable Tony Okota. You're welcome, sir. Honorable Patrick, I saw we're in, member representing on those state is also here in the midst. You're welcome, sir. A do state rather, sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you for that correction. Member representing a do state. Also in the midst is the IYC President General, Sir Jonathan Lopobri Jr. You're welcome, sir. And we have in our midst also the Amazon of the Niger Delta, Ankyo Briggs. We recognize you, ma. You're welcome. Chief Anab Sarah Igbe is also in our midst. Chief, you're welcome. Your Highness, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. I want to specially recognize the directors of NDDC seated here. 
Please, with a round of applause, let's recognize all the directors of NDDC seated here. We recognize you. We recognize you. Thank you very much. May I also recognize all the youth leaders who are seated here. All the youth leaders who are here. Youth Oye! Please, a round of applause for all the youth leaders. You are welcome. Joining us is the member representing Delta State on the governing board of NDDC, Right Honorable Monday Iguya. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I want to bring to the mic my colleague who will be doing this with me, I won't be doing it alone. I have with me a Seleme Aso and Telma Ibegu. May I hand over the mic to Seleme Aso to continue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please, I would like to ask for a few seconds to establish the safety protocols, which we also call the scene setting. In this hall, we have three exits one to my right, immediate left, another to the far left, and a third on my right. We also have three lavatories. That is, we have the one for the gents, the ladies, and also for those physically challenged. Thank you. May I, in the same light, recognize the presence of the consultant, Demiary Vaughan Kemedi. You're welcome. Please put your hands together for him. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, just as my colleague had earlier stated, this youth internship scheme was first announced on the 30th of July 2024 by the MDCEO of NDDC, Dr. Samuel Obuku. And um, of course, today we are witnessing the official launch of this event. May I, at this point, respectfully invite to give the opening remarks the Executive Director of Projects, EDP, Sir Victor Antai. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you very much. The Chairman of the Governing Board of the NDDC, Barrister Chidu Ibiye. the purveyor of hope in the region and the bastion of the new NDDC, the MD CEO, Dr. Samuel Obuku. The Executive Director of Finance and Administration Alabo Bumai Iai, the first executive director of corporate services of the NDDC, Chief Ifedayo Begundi, members of the NDDC board, directors of the NDDC. Special guest of honor, youth leaders here present, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we mark a significant milestone in our ongoing quest for progress and prosperity in the Niger Delta region. It is with immense pride and deep sense of responsibility that I stand to welcome you to the launch of the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme. This initiative aims to address one of the most pressing issues facing our region, youth unemployment. In the Niger Delta, the youth unemployment rate stands at an alarming 42%. This staggering figure 
is not just a statistic. It represents dreams deferred, potentials unrealized, and a region struggling to harness the full capabilities of its most vital resource, its youth. The NDDC Youth Internship Scheme is a bold step towards changing this narrative, providing a lifeline to 10,000 young individuals to gain work experience that may lead some to start their own businesses. The heartbeat of any nation lies in the vigor and vitality of its youth. Yet, here in the Niger Delta, the beat has been faltered under the weight of impoverished background, born out of a very difficult terrain and limited opportunities. The NDDC Youth Internship Scheme is not merely a financial intervention. It is a symbol of our commitment to nurturing and empowering the next generation. Education and entrepreneurship are the twin pillars upon which the future of the Niger Delta region can be built. This scheme provides our youth with the means to sharpen their skills and employability. It also encourages entrepreneurial spirit, giving them the financial cushion to take risk, innovate, and build businesses that can provide employment to others. Therefore, as we, mark on, as we embark on this journey, I urge all beneficiaries to choose this opportunity with both hands. Use it to feel your passion, to learn, to grow, and to give back to our communities. To our partners, stakeholders, and well-wishers, I extend my heartfelt gratitude. Your support and collaboration are vital to the success of this scheme. Together, we can turn the tide of unemployment and steer the Niger Delta towards a brighter and more prosperous future. On behalf of the chairman of the board of the NDDC, the executive management, and the entire board, I hereby welcome you to the launch of the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you very, very much, Sir Victor Antai, Executive Director of Projects NDDC. Two things that he said, the problem and the solution. Addressing the unemployment rate in the Niger Delta, that is a problem that we all know and relate with. And then solution, NDDC is providing the lifeline for 10,000 Nigerian youth and this is what the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme is all about. It is my privilege and pleasure to invite the next person who will be speaking today. The one that some likes to call a man that is moving the NDDC from transactional to transformational. A man that feels the pulse of not just the people, but the youth especially because he is one of them. It is my pleasure to invite to the podium none other than the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Chief Samuel Ogbuku, PhD. My chairman, Mr. Chiedu Ebie, the executive director, finance and admin, the fifth of Ogu, 
by EDP, Sir Victor Antai, and the Executive Director of Corporate Services, Utumba Ifedayo Abegunde, members of the Governing Board of NDDC, who I can see are done on white to show that they are here for peace. And that peace is what is resonating in the Niger Delta, representing their various states. Directors of the NDDC, staff of NDDC here present, our mother, Ankyo Briggs, youth leaders of the Niger Delta, representing various ethnic nationalities. I may not know all of you by your names, but just know that I recognize all of you. Precisely on the 30th of last month, we were all gathered in Port Harcourt to sensitize the youths of the Niger Delta on the reason why Niger Delta youths shouldn't partake in the protests that was ongoing. Not only the youths were invited, Leaders of ethnic nationalities were also invited. Stakeholders were invited. And unanimously, we agreed that we are not part of that protest. The Niger Deltas did not only just agree on that day, the Niger Delta have demonstrated, as you can see, there is no issue of any violence in the Niger Delta. We have demonstrated it in our action that we are not part of that protest. Because questions were asked, the reason for the protest, does it address our challenges? And all the answers were no. Meaning the protest was not meant for the people of the Niger Delta. However, what the Niger Delta people have demonstrated is that we might be diverse in tongue by way of our language and dialect, but we are united in our ideology. And what has built our ideology is our common challenges. The challenge of underdevelopment, ranging from ecological challenges environmental degradation, and other challenges which I face in my community, you also face in your community. There's virtually no state in the Niger Delta that has not been affected by either flood or erosion. Most of us who encounter the issue of gas flaring, environmental degrad degradation, all these have brought us together as a people, and we are united under that common ideology. Like as I said earlier, when the people of the Niger Delta were protesting from the creeks to the streets, no one joined us. All the businesses in the region ran away because we protested. This is the time for us to open our doors for businesses to come back because we have shown that we are peaceful. I'm using this medium to reach out to company owners, the oil companies, to let them understand that the fear of the Niger Delta not being peaceful has been defeated. That even in the highest level of tension in Nigeria, the Niger Delta is the most peaceful place to be. There was no incident of anybody dying in the Niger Delta no incident of vandalism. That is to tell you that the people of the Niger Delta, we have learned our lessons, and this is a time for us to embrace development. That does not mean that we don't understand that times are tough. 
Times are tough, it's not only in Nigeria. Inflation is a global thing right now. But for us in Nigeria, we know Mr. President is working very hard with his policies to address the challenges that are facing the citizens of this country. And we in the Niger Delta have chosen to give this government that chance by way of supporting this government and supporting its policies. That is why today we are here gathered again. When we wanted to host this program, some persons tried to discourage us to say, why don't you wait till after the 10 days given by protesters that they might come and disrupt the program? We said, well, we are Niger Delta people. Let us use this event to test if actually our Niger Delta people are not sensible enough to embrace something good. And today you can see, wherever you're watching from, to see how quiet, how calm, how, 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 how responsible our youths are looking. And if you go outside, you can see that there is no trouble anywhere. Our people appreciate good things. The reason why we're here today is for the launch of the portal of the Youth Internship Scheme. I want to let all of us know that all the programs we have here marked for the youths, which today we are launching the Youth Internship Scheme, as one of them, they are not afterthought or reaction to the planned protest. All these programs were carefully thought out and they were included in the budget of NDDC 2024. That is to tell you that the government means well for the people of the Niger Delta and the youths of the Niger Delta. But coincidentally, after the passage of our budget and we're about flagging off this program, it might appear as if we're reacting to the protest that um, is going on in the country. On behalf of the government of Nigeria, I want to say thank you to the people of the Niger Delta for showing that great support. We might be silent being in our houses, not being part of this protest, but I can assure you that in our silence, it is very, very loud. And the president appreciates our silence that is very, very loud, that is resonating in Abuja. I want to thank you on behalf of the government. Let me specifically thank the youths of the Niger Delta for demonstrating yet again that we are not irresponsible, but we are responsible youths that can be trusted and if given opportunities, we can actually also contribute our own quota towards changing the fortunes of this country. I want to thank the youths of the Niger Delta. Also thank our mothers, whom in their ways have also cautioned their children not to go out to be part of this protest. If you have not demonstrated your motherly qualities, probably our children would have been out there. So all of us have contributed in one way or the other to maintain the calm and the peace in the Niger Delta. But above all, just to reassure you that we are also taking this as a moral body upon ourselves to ensure that we deliver the dividends of democracy and ensure that whatever the Niger Delta youth deserve or whatever the Niger Delta people deserve, so long as it has been shared in this country, you're going to get your own fair share. Coming to today's event, today's event is the official launch of the NDDC internship scheme, where we are going to empower 10,000 youths in the Niger Delta engaging them in various internships ranging from technology, automobile, craftsmanship, community service, finance, sports, 
medical, maritime, agriculture, technology, music, and art. Because we thought it is very, very necessary to expose our youth to these various areas and also engage them. We want the youth to take advantage of this. And wherever, for those who are going to be successful, wherever you're being sent to, try and also be a good ambassador of the Niger Delta youth by being of good, by making yourself being of good conduct. Because your conduct is the only guarantee that can sustain you in this scheme. Your being picked does not mean it is employment. Because we have a consultant who is a lead consultant and nine other consultants who are also going to take care of every state. These consultants are going to be writing quarterly reports and these quarterly reports, if you're indicted not to be of good conduct, you're going to be taken out of the scheme. So you should understand that the guarantee of you being in the scheme is in your hands, in your conduct, or else you have yourself to blame. There are lots of persons who are out there looking for such opportunities. So if you are involved, just know that you are lucky. However, what is the process? We are going to use online registration. The whole idea is so that the process is going to be transparent. Because just like as, I, as we said, we have transited from transaction to transformation. And this process is going to be online, where after the launch, the demo is going to be done for everybody, wherever you are in the country, those abroad, to see the demo, how you can register. And once you conclude the process, we have them in our database. And from there, the selection process will be done. The selection process is going to be done based on equality of states and quota of production, because that has been the standard of which NDDC uses in distributing its uh, benefits. That is to say, it doesn't matter because the MD is from Bielsa State, that does not mean Bielsa State would have more than Delta State that has more in terms of crude oil production, and acquire bomb that have more in crude oil production. But we still use equality of states. Equality of states, we tag the quality of states at 500. That means every state will have 500 flat rates before we now go into production quota on the distribution. <laughs> Having said that, I also just want to assure you that the database, we have tested it and it is very, very strong. It has six servers. And those six servers, I can assure you that even with the pressure the portal is having right now, because even without launching, people are already aware of the website. And I can assure you that as we are seated here, we have over 100,000 persons that have already registered. That is to tell you the pressure. And in anticipation of the pressure, we have about six servers to also back up the portal. So that no matter the pressure that comes, the portal will not also crash. So just be rest assured that we are fully prepared for this scheme. When we announced it, we did not just announce it because we just wanted to make a political statement. It was because it was ripe enough for us to start. So we are also outside this, going to ensure that having listened to Mr. President's broadcast yesterday, Mr. President rolled out a lot of programs for youths ranging from agriculture, training, and others. I want to assure the people of the Niger Delta that as NDDC, we will ensure that we also engage other agencies of government that are relevant to such programs to partner with them to ensure 
that whatever our own quota is, we must also get. That is what we're also going to do on your behalf. And to further inform you that after this, we'll also, not too long from now, start annual and public infrastructure renovation scheme, which is also a scheme that we intend to use in empowering our youth. Because we are trying to create various platforms of empowerment so that those who do not benefit from one have the opportunity of benefiting from the other. And that is why we are also trying to do everything through data. The whole idea so that one person alone cannot benefit from everything. So once you benefit from one scheme, know that the next scheme, others will also benefit. So this is to take us away from the old ways of NDDC, where only one person can benefit from everything. We know that, yes, what we have may not go around to everybody, so let us break it for everybody to have a little. So that is what we want to do. So I want to thank all of you for coming today and for supporting us. Because without your support so far, we wouldn't have come this far too. I can assure you, on behalf of the chairman and the board of NDDC and the management, that we are truly committed under the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President to ensure that renewed hope is not just an acronym or a word, that renewed hope truly reflect renewed hope for the people of the Niger Delta. You can also agree with me that most of these things were rolling out, were never in existence. So just as they were never in existence and they are coming up now, we are not just doing it alone. We are doing it because we have a president that has requested KPIs from us. We must also ensure that we meet up those key performance index to also um, um, have good standing before the authorities. You are aware that we signed performance bond with the minister on behalf of the president, and we are working hard to ensure that the performance bond that we signed is going to be delivered to the people of the Niger Delta. You must also know that a very good job cannot be good without good supervision. So all what you're seeing today is because you have irresponsible supervision from the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who loves the people of the Niger Delta, and who really wants to change the narrative in the Niger Delta, to make the Niger Delta more prosperous for the people of the Niger Delta to be happy to live in this environment. And I can assure you that we'll do all our best to ensure that we trap all these developments for the people of the Niger Delta. As we continue in our future programs, whatever updates that you need to be given of messages that are coming from Abuja, we'll keep updating you because we believe in stakeholders' engagement. And because we have always engaged you, that is why you've always followed our activities and programs. So I want to thank you for following us. I want to thank you for supporting the programs of Mr. President, supporting the programs of the NDDC, and also showing that the Niger Delta people are a different people that believe in supporting the government of Mr. President and are people who are willing and open for development. Thank you very much. Please, a resounding round of applause for the Managing Director and CEO NDDC, Chief Samuel Obuku, PhD, a lover of youth. Thank you very much. Chairman, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I recognize the presence of the member rep representing Cross River State on the Governing Board of NDDC, Right Honorable Oroko Tuduk, JP. 
You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, may I also crave your indulgence to recognize the national coordinator, Niger Delta Youth Council Worldwide, Engineer Jato Abidu. You are welcome, sir. Also in our midst is the state chairman, state chairman, National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, the foremost youth body in River State. Mr. Chairman, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, just before the launching of the scheme, the launching proper, I want to bring to the podium Mr. Dagogo Tolofari for the demo presentation. Mr. Dagogo. Good afternoon, everybody. Please permit me to sit on the already established protocol because of time. My name is Dagogo Tolofari, and I'm here to present to you the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme web portal. The web address of this portal is nyis.nddc. Dot gov dot ng. And so when you go into that web address, it will lead you straight to the web portal. Now, this web portal describes the, 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 the scheme itself. And of course, much have been said about the scheme. So I will just go straight into the reason why the NDDC developed this web portal. The reason why this web portal was developed was to ensure that the youth across the nine states and the 130 local governments of the Niger Delta have access to this scheme. Meaning that wherever you are within the Niger Delta, you can use your phone or your computer to register for the program and upload your documents. Now, one other reason why this portal was launched was to enable the NDDC to use the data that we gather to perform analysis. And these analysis are all going to be designed to enhance the NDDC reach to the use of the Niger Delta. Because on the portal itself, while you're registering, you'll be asked to select areas of interest. And of course, when you go through the portal itself, you're going to see various areas of interest that the portal addresses, that the program addresses. And so with that areas of interest, the NDDC can perform analytics that will help them plan for future projects that will be more impactful to the use of the Niger Delta. So what you're seeing on the screen is actually the portal. And if you scroll through the portal, it gives you information of what the program is all about. And I, I think a lot has already been said on what the program is all about. So I'll just quickly run you through on how you can use the portal to register for the program. And please note that the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme is an online-only portal. Let nobody deceive you that you're going to submit form anywhere. All the forms are going to be collected via this portal because the data is pretty much valuable to the NDDC. So if you go to the portal and you scroll through, and read through the programs and what the program offers. At the bottom of the portal, you will see um, the, the, the button that would allow you to register. And now these are some of the areas of interest that, it, that the um, NDDC Youth Internship Scheme is actually going to address. So when you go down to the portal, you will now see the register now button. And so when you click on that button, it's going to take you to the registration page. The registration is actually a simple process. And we've designed it in such a way that it is step by step so that it is easy for the youth to actually fill up their information in no time. So on the first page that you'll be shown, you will have to submit your um, email address. And then you submit your phone number, and then you select 
um, the states you're from in the Niger Delta. Remember I said the portal addresses the nine states of the Niger Delta, the 130 local governments we have, all the youths will be able to have access to this. So when you select your um, states, you click on Start New, and that begins the process of the registration. And so when you click on Start New, two things happen. You will be sent a verification code. That code will come via email and through your phone. So you receive um, both a text message and a, an email from uh, the portal. And just like you can see, the code has arrived in the mail, which will be copied or which can be copied and pasted or typed directly from your phone on the portal. And then the next thing is to click the next step and the actual registration process um, will begin. You have to fill in your correct data. It is important that we have the correct data filled in in all the aspects of the form. So you fill your first name, you fill your last name, you select your gender. These are information that are pertinent to you as a person applying, not for someone else, please. We want you to fill it for yourself. Don't fill on behalf of anybody because that might be impersonation. So you want to select um, your marital status, your interests. So this is where your interests will be selected. And the data that we gather from here will now be used in the analysis. You select your educational level, your states. Once you select your state, it will populate the local governments in your states. And then you select your local government. And we want you to put your hometown because the data collection is granular. We want to have deep insights into the youths of the Niger Delta. So you click on, the, on next step after you filled up that information. The next step is your contact address. Please, your contact address is different from your, 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 your state of origin. At this point, you want to know where you live within the Niger Delta. So you put in your um, address of residence, you put in the city, um, you now you select your states, you now put in a phone number. If you have an um, alternate phone number, most of us have two lines, you can also um, put that in. And then you also be required to put in an emergency contact, somebody that can be reached just in case you're trying to be reached out by NEDC to the program and you can't be reached, please, you need to supply an alternate number and you click on the next step. So this will now take you to um, the segment for documents. We want your passport photograph. Please, I want to emphasize on this because it's very important. We want to see the faces of those that we are going to be empowering through this program. So please, uh, supply your, your passport. The formats, the formats are indicated on the portal. Um, you click your means of identification, either NIN, your um, driver's license, and then your local government identification. All of us have that. We want to also take that information. And then once you fill that in, you go to the next step. And um, this step, we're actually uploading the information to the server. Now, you have to enter your NIN. Your NIN is important. You fill it in and you continue to the next step. And once you've done that, you have completed the process of registering. So if you click on the Finish button, you will now be given a summary of your registration on the NDDC internship, internship program. Now, this um, confirmation page is important for you to take note of it. You can print it or you can save it as a PDF and keep in your phone because if eventually you are selected for the program, you will need your registration number. During the process of creating your account, we have automatically created a registration number for you and that has been attached to the, the form that you're seeing. So please keep this carefully 
um, so that when, when, you are, when you need to access information on the program, your registration number will be very, very handy. The process is simple and fast, so we don't expect any hiccups for those that will be interested in the program. Please remember that the URL, the web address for this website, nyis.nddc.gov.ng. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, a round of applause for Mr. Dagogo Tolofari. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the real time is now. May I respectfully invite the Chairman Governing Board of NDDC, Mr. Chiedue Bie, for the launching of the scheme. A round of applause for him as he makes his way to the podium. Thank you. The Managing Director and Chief Executive of NDDC, Dr. Samuel Ubuku, Executive Directors, members of the governing board, our very dear sister who always supports us 101%, and Kyo Briggs, your royal majesties, our vi very vibrant and supportive youth leaders, our youths all gathered here today, the staff of the commission, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Six days ago, we were all gathered here in Port Harcourt, the same town, but a different location, to interact with the stakeholders, in particular the youths of the region. I'm glad that our interactions bore a lot of fruit, because we can see that all our towns in the region, the state capitals and the major towns and everywhere was peaceful during the last couple of days. We are indeed very grateful to each and every one of you. We thank you and we, I think that we, all, we should all give ourselves a round of applause for that. That said, we're back here again six days later to proceed to the next step and in furtherance of one of the programs that was unveiled by the managing director at the gathering last week. Irrespective of the disruptions or the unfortunate disruptions that occurred in the last couple of days, by disruptions I mean inability of everybody to go about their normal businesses, inability of people to get to their, um, to their offices, and just people having to stay at home. The management of the commission worked to ensure that this launch still holds today. I think we should give the MD and the EDs and the directors and staff of the commission a round of applause for ensuring that irrespective of what may have transpired in the last couple of days, we're still able to gather here to launch this program. I want to believe that everybody has a copy of this program. And if you have a copy of this program, if you go to page 13, there's a short note there. There's a short note that details the scheme. And it's very important that you read it and you understand it. We are not taking money to give you every day or every week and for you to just put it in your pocket. What we want to do is we want people to be empowered in a way that they learn a skill. So it's an internship. But during that period of the internship, that 12-month period, it is expected that a stipend will be paid to you. And so it's very important that we take it seriously. Because one of the biggest problems you have is 
lack of education, and also inability to empower people with a skill set. So this scheme, this youth internship scheme, is to empower you with a skill set. They've also made it clear it is online and it is free. Please do not go to anybody saying, come and help me, come and do this for me. You must register online. If you don't register online, you can't get onto the program. So please, let's pay particular attention to that. Another thing also is that, yes, there's an age limit. We are not going to take a pass or uh, geriatrics or pensioners, and then they come and hide under a youth scheme. If you're over 45, please do not apply. I beg of you, please do not apply because you are not too far from retirement age. Leave it for the youths that will still have at least two, three decades of work life and active life. So please, let us develop our youths. Do not try and cut your age by 10 just so that you can get onto this program. Because when you do that, you will be denying the legitimate beneficiaries the opportunity to get on the program. So please, let us just be truthful and honest and leave it to those that fall within the age bracket. Also, persons living with disabilities. There will also be a special provision for persons living with disabilities. So I know that um, it probably wasn't highlighted there, but it's also something, there's, uh, there's, there's a, a, a um, a link or a category somewhere where that will highlight if, if you're a person living with disability. Please just state whatever disability it is because we're also reserving a portion, um, a, a certain percentage with disabilities. So that said, we're indeed very delighted that you've been able to join us today. We are grateful that our region still remains unaffected by the events of the last couple of days. And we're here on the mandate of Mr. President. And also, I recall during the, inaugura uh, the inauguration of our board, the Honorable Minister made it clear to us, and he said, that they've been, there have been complaints about NDDC. And they appeal to us to ensure that this time around we change the narrative. We've always maintained that position and we will always continue to maintain that position. Like I say people, to people, we all want posterity to judge us fairly. And for us to do that, it means that we always have to be transparent in our dealings. We also have to ensure that we interact with the key stakeholders of the region and I believe that we're doing that I think this is the third such engagements that we've had so we will continue to do it and you can be rest assured that our doors would always remain open and we would always continue to do what is in the overall interest of the region that said it's now my singular honor and pleasure on behalf of our president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces the man who means well for the region, His Excellency Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to formally launch the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme for 10,000 youths under the ages of 45, the age of 45, today in Port Harcourt, River State. The portal is open and it will remain open till the 31st day of August 2024. Please, please ensure that you register between now and the 31st day of August 2024. I thank you for joining us today and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless the Niger Delta region. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Please let's put our hands together one more time for the chairman and the DC board. Mr. Chiedue Bia, who has just officially launched the youth internship scheme the NDDC Youth Intensives, Internship Scheme. And of course, he's emphasizing that those who are over 45 years are not allowed to register. And of course, NDDC well, is an the official launch board. of the Niger Delta Development Commission Youth Internship Scheme here in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital. Thank you so much. Well, the Niger Delta Development Commission Youth Internship Scheme has been established to prepare 10,000 young people across the region with the training and experience they need for gainful employment and also prepare them for self-employment through entrepreneurship. We are witnessing the official launch of the NDDC Youth Internship Scheme here in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital. And of course, we've heard speeches from the managing director of the NDDC. The chairman, NDDC, well, the NDDC CEO. Here in Port Harcourt, where we have witnessed the official launch of the NDDC Youth Intention Scheme. I am Oviete George saying do stay tuned to the Arise News channel as we go back for regular programming. Thank you. Of kindness by this board and by Mr. President. I want to say like there's a, f a famous quote that says in every generation, out of relative obscurity, we discover our mission. Either we fulfill it or we defray it. Now we have, we have decided to identify with this board and to fulfill our mission as a youth of the Niger Delta region by not taking to arms or going the other way of our brothers from the other region. On this note, I want to thank this board. I want to thank Mr. President. I want to thank the managing director. I want to thank the governing board of NDDC for making this possible for us. On that note, I will say, for our youth, we should give three resigned Boza to this board. Boza, Boza, Boza. We're overwhelmed. Like Oliver Twist, we say, 10,000 youth is much. But we also appeal, as time goes further, we know that you're going to include other youth. Thank you very much, and thank you very much. You've just uh, been watching live images there in Port Harcourt in River State, the launch of the Niger Delta Youth Internship Scheme for 45 years and below, you can't, you, can't, you can't join if you're over 45. Let's leave it for the youth. That's what they're, that's what they're saying. So job growth in the South-South, in River States, being launched live. It's all about jobs, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>